good morning. My name's Ethan. This is my family's dairy farm. Currently finishing up, mixing the last load of feed for the morning. Today's job is going to be we're going to work on our John Deere 7420 or cab tractor. This needs a bunch of repairs done inside the cab and we'll need to do injectors and an oil change. So the mechanic is going to be coming over this morning. I'm going to be helping him with all that. Look at this one. She's sleeping. Her name's Aaliyah. Huh? She's not dead. If you saw her in the back, she's just sleeping. So, she sleeps like that a lot, but it's quite the uh, cow. That was one of my sister's old 4-H calves. So, she used to go to all the fairs with her, but now she's a milking cow, but, uh, she likes to sleep like that a lot, so, see, you can see she's actually awake now, huh? Done morning feeding. There's Aaliyah again. Alright, so we're in the 7420 now. We're gonna do injectors on this tractor as well today. We've decided as well. Here, I'll, I'll let you guys hear it. It is, we've tested it, it's the injectors. So, this thing's currently hooked up to the manure spreader. We're gonna unhook it. Then we're going to bring it into the shop and just start working on it. So, it's got around 5,000 hours on it, so we're just going to start working on all that. And just like that, it's all unhooked. We're going to bring the cab tractor to that shop right there. And then it'll go in there. And we'll start working on it once the mechanic shows up. So... We also really got to clean this cab out. You can see it's pretty dirty, even the windows are dirty, but it's on a manure spreader, so that's just what's going to happen. All right, things are getting busy. We just had our corn seed dropped off for the year. Got the shop prepared for the cab tractor. It's sitting out there. So mechanic's going to pull it in. We're going to start working on it. So we got to pull the seat out to get at them covers underneath. And a whole bunch of other stuff. We just plugged in our little shop heater. It takes a while to warm up anyway, so once the tractor's in, we'll shut the door and it'll be nice and warm. Alright, well things have escalated. But, I'll go to the other side, because that's where the injectors are. We pulled the injectors. Cabs really tore apart. Go around this side. Seats out the back window. I'm just kind of on your stuff but I'll I'll get to the point so the cab we took the seat out to be able to get at them blower motors the mechanic uh, left now he's done everything he can before he needs more parts I think we spent three and a half hours doing everything there was blower motors sitting in here so we took them out so I'll show you that these things blower motors for the um, fans so this kept taking too much power to turn this one's not too bad but the bearing in this one is shot and it doesn't spin for very long so it takes too much power to turn versus this one it's better but we're gonna replace both of these fan motors on this tractor they're both bad but fortunately everything in this cab came apart well um so that's good see on another note murray left his phone here which isn't good our, our mechanic left his phone here so uh i'm gonna have to get that to him all right mechanic just pulled in he forgot he realized he forgot his phone same time i brought it to him 
So, where were we? So yeah, them fan motors came out of there. Both of them are shot. Them relays in behind the seat will need to fix. Not sure if you can tell, I'll go around. The seat, an armrest broke off of the seat. Broke off, came out right there. And yes, the seat is literally just hanging there. But we're gonna have to get this back on. Um, you guys can't really see, but there's a pin that goes through here that we gotta look after. So the seat needs a little bit of work, but that's easy. So that's the cab, everything that's going on there. I might take out this floor mat and clean it. And then we have our injector situation. So we got the injectors out, but in order to get the injectors out, we had to take these fuel filters off of their bracket. We had to take the turbo and exhaust manifold off and then we were able to get the injectors out, but um, we had a little bit of trouble getting them out. Because there's no spot on these injectors. I wish I still had them here, but uh, we gave them to the mechanic to bring them to the machine shop. So these injectors that sat in here, there's six of them. There was no spot to grab onto them. So we had to use, I already put my tools away, unfortunately, but... We had to use a bunch of pry bars to pry them out because there was no proper spot for a puller on them. So we got that, but yeah. We also had to, you can tell it's kind of jerry-rigged the hood. We needed to take off the shocks in order to lift up the hood that far because generally the hood will only go picture about that steep. You need it all the way up there to get at these injectors. So we got that tore apart. So those are the two main things on this tractor that we were looking after. I do got to do an oil change on it still. So I don't know when I'm going to do that. But I also can scrape off all these gaskets as we're ordering new ones. There's also a gasket down on the floor. So there's stuff to do on here, but not a whole lot. But you can tell this exhaust, um, well, it's not a manifold. It's, I'm gonna call it a converter. It's essentially just the exhaust goes through there. Oh, muffler, that's what I'm looking for. It's a muffler that was replaced two years ago. And then over here we got our turbo and our exhaust manifold that was pretty heavy to take off but I'll just walk around some of the parts here's all our fuel lines yes this tractor is toy part it's got 5,000 hours on it not sure if I've mentioned it so I guess it's about time that we've done some work on it but Everything is ready and apart. So it's all just waiting. So it'll be nice to get this thing back in the field, but while I'm on March break, it's a great learning opportunity because, well, there's just a lot to do on here and just nice. So, it's also really nice that our shop's tall enough to get this hood all the way up. But, this is our John Deere 7420. All tore apart. So I figured while I was at it in here, I'd show one more issue we detected. Just this clamp's a little loose and the turbo's been leaking oil. So, that's just one of those things we caught on. I knew stuff was leaking because you can see all this is just dirt from sticking to the side of the engine block but yeah it was kind of hard to tell what was actually leaking engine oil with it all tore apart but yeah I mean don't think there's too much more to say on this thing it was a little bit of a 
still learning so I don't really have a whole lot to tell you guys but there is where the injectors sat so it's a good project to get done then this thing will be reliable for it I think we're going into the 17th or 18th season of using this tractor so it's about time it's had some work done I really wanted to clean this cab out better before we got to ripping it apart but I didn't have time so here we are with this tractor all tore apart so I know there's gonna be a question in the comments I see it already why did you leave the seat like that instead of putting it on the ground the simple answer is that seat weighs around 100 pounds. Maybe a little less, maybe 70 or 80. But the point is the seat is extremely heavy. And we can get it down to the ground, but this it is around 10 feet high. So we thought it would be easier just to put two pieces of foam to protect the fenders, a board here, board here to support it, and a bunch of boards there. So that's what we're doing to just save some time obviously somehow we're gonna still have to repair that armrest at some point but yeah that's why we did it that way we could have taken it out but when you got two people it's just a whole lot easier just to set it up there and do that because the seat is too big to fit through this door here without taking the door off its sock so the seat is easier to just stay there. So that's why we did this. Um, yeah, obviously this tractor is very dirty, but it's been on the manure spreader for, well, since November. So it's gotten plastered and that's gonna come to an end soon, but yeah, just keep them busy with it. So, now that the 7420 is all apart, we put this tractor, the 6430, on the manure spreader. So, back down to three tractors again, but we used to farm all the time with three tractors, so it's not really uh, too much of a game changer, other than you don't have a cab when you're out in the field piling or spreading the load of manure, depending how it it is, but... Yeah, it's also a little bit of a change because tomorrow we got another skid coming. So we're going to have to unload the skid with the manure spreader attached or unhook it or something, but it is what it is. Alright, we're back in the shop now. It's around 6 o'clock. We finished evening feeding. So I'm at the 7420. I decided... Just for fun, if you guys want, in the comments, you can take a guess how much it's going to cost to fix this. I have no idea. Well, I have a little bit of an idea, but don't have a big idea of how much it's going to cost. But, yeah. I'll go over the parts real quick of what it needs, and then you guys can take a guess. So we're going to need six of these gaskets. Uh, there's also going to be, we're going to need... One of those gaskets that's on the floor. Then we're going to replace all six injectors. Unless some of the injectors are good. But you can count on we're probably going to replace all six injectors. We're going to replace them two fans that are in there. So two of these. I guess they're blowers. We're going to put two of these in. They're made by Boss. Then just one relay fuse so just a square fuse that'll be like five dollars so however you guys want to guess if you want to guess how much it's going to cost in parts or how much it's going to cost with parts and labor um if you're going to take a guess just maybe put what kind of currency you're guessing in because there are people from all over the world watching this there's people that use the euro to pay for stuff canadian dollar american dollar yada 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 
So if you're gonna take a guess, just put what dollar you're guessing in, mom. Yeah, if you want to, you can. If not, whatever. So this is gonna be the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. I'm debating, I might, this might be the first video that I'll actually link up to the Instagram page that I got, also called Our Farm Story. I actually haven't told the people of Instagram that I'm doing YouTube. <laughs> so, yeah. So, if there's anything you'd like me to show you, or anything you think I can improve on, or you want to see, let me know, leave a comment, like, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. God bless.